And another Charleston tragedy that claimed the lives of nine people back in 2007 is coming up on its 16 year anniversary. The Charleston Sofa Superstore or Charleston 9 resulted in the death of nine firefighters while they were responding to a fire. And those who died will be honored during a special ceremony on Sunday. News 2's Walker Simmons visited the Charleston 9 Memorial Park in West Ashley where a refurbishment project is underway. June 18th will mark 16 years since a fire engulfed a sofa superstore and warehouse on Savannah Highway. The fire caused a portion of the roof to collapse with firefighters still inside. Nine did not survive. On Sunday, a memorial will be held and community members and firefighters are invited to honor those nine lost. On June 18, 2007, tragedy struck the Charleston community when a fire tore through the Sofa Superstore on Savannah Highway. Crews with the Charleston Fire Department rushed to the scene, but for nine of them, it would be their last call. The Charleston Fire Department's current Deputy Chief of Operations, Forrest Cockroft, says that night changed everything. Uh, that night, as, as many will tell you, was probably one of the worst nights of their careers, but out of it has been born such a lot of great things. Sixteen years later, the community is still mourning the lives of fathers, sons, brothers, and friends that were lost in the fire. This year, the anniversary holds a special significance as it falls on Father's Day. Assistant Chief of Administration David Griffin says that brings new battles. Being Father's Day, that's difficult because we have one of our firefighters, Hunter Binky, who's on the job here, and it's Father's Day, and his dad lost his life on June 18, 2007. And for me to watch that young man be in our department and to work so hard and strive to be such a good firefighter, that's an honor for me. A ceremony is being held on Sunday to honor the Charleston Nine at the park built where the sofa store once stood. Improvements to the park are continuing to be made, not only to honor the Nine, but to inform the public about what happened roughly 16 years ago. Cockroft says they want to take their time creating this park. We're really hopeful that we get it done soon, and that, but more importantly, we're, we're focusing on getting it done right because they deserve that. And, and however long it takes, we'll continue to work through to make sure it's done the way it needs to be done. Firefighters like Griffin and Cockroft say they hope this space will continue to be a place for the public to remember the nine brave firefighters who lost their lives in the line of duty. That memorial is set to begin at 7 p.m. For more information, you can visit our website, countonto.com. In West Ashley, Walker Simmons, Count On 2.